Hello, it's me, your old friend Cedric, the serve ant. Back again for another lesson. And if you remember last time, we spoke about being the serve ant of all. And whosoever of you will be the chiefest shall be the servant of all. Mark chapter 10, verse 44. And if you remember, we shared a scripture from you, from the Bible, that talks about how the ant is an important member of the animal kingdom to pay attention to. There are four things on earth that are small, but they are very wise. Ants are not very strong, but ants store up food in the summer. Proverbs chapter 30, verse 24 and 25. And today we're going to talk about something very interesting. It is one of the most amazing things that you can see ants doing. And together, using our bodies, we actually build an ant bridge, as you can see here, demonstrated by my cousins. Isn't that pretty amazing? And what does an ant bridge have to do with you, you might ask? Well, if you'll notice in the picture, the ants are helping each other get over a very deep pit. And along the path of life, we all face things that are called pitfalls. They're areas that we can't seem to get across on our own. Areas that trouble us or make us upset or hurt us in some way and we have trouble getting past them. For some people, school could be a pitfall. This is much harder than I thought it would be. For others of us, we might find that sickness could be a pitfall that we have trouble getting over. Can I please have a nice hot bowl of gnat soup? Achoo! And still others might find things like anger, a pitfall in their walk of life. Someone spelled the word anger incorrectly. That makes me so mad. And the way that we help each other through these pitfalls is through prayer. When we all pray for one another, when we all care about one another enough to pray to Jesus to help each other, it's like building an ant bridge for each other to get across the pitfalls of life. And when we all care about each other enough to pray for one another, we'll all get past the pitfalls together. And we won't be angry, we won't be sick, and we won't have the trouble that we used to have because Jesus blesses us when we pray for each other. So I hope that you take this example of ants to your prayer chamber and talk to the Lord about helping those around you and know that you are not alone in your circumstance in whatever is bothering you today. There are many praying for you because you are loved, because Jesus cares about you, and so does your church family. May God bless you today.